Welcome to Quiz Show What's in a Name. Today, hosted by your favorite Quiz Master Lucy. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to the quiz. Folks at home, get ready to play. So, the aim of the game today in What's in a Name is to figure out if these titles of people are true or false. So, let's get started. Are you ready? Question number one. So, the lady who lives in Buckingham Palace, Elizabeth, she is called Her Majesty the Queen. True or false? Thought about it? Got your answer? Moving on! Question number two. The manager of Tottenham Hotspur's football club is called Jose Mourinho and he's also called the special one. True or false? Is that his title? True or false? Moving on. Question three. The lady at church that lots of you call Auntie Gillian. Her name is Gillian Cable, but she's actually called Dame Gillian Cable. True or false? Question four. You have to be quick. No thinking too hard about it. Question four. The pastor of the church, Jacob Brothers, is called Reverend Jacob Brothers. True or false? Give you a minute. Question. That was great fun today. So we found out that Jesus is 
Christ the Lord. We know that because it tells us in the Bible and we're going to read about that just now in Luke chapter 2 and we're going to start in verse 8. So let's find out this bit about the Christmas story and what we find out about Jesus being called Christ the Lord. So listen to see if you can hear him being called Christ the Lord in this story. And in the same region, there were shepherds out in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with great fear. And the angel said to them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy that will be for all the people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a saviour who is Christ the Lord. <laughs> and this will be a sign for you. You will find a baby wrapped in swaddling cloths and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest and on earth peace among those with whom he is pleased. When the angel went away, from them into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Let us go over to Bethlehem and see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has made known to us. And they went with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And when they saw it, they made known the saying that had been told them concerning this child. And all who heard it wondered at what the shepherds told them. Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. And the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen as it had been told to them. I, I, I got it, I heard it, it was angels. The angels said, Jesus is Christ the Lord. The baby that was born is Christ the Lord. So Jesus is Christ the Lord. But what does that even mean? What's that all about? Well, we know his name is Jesus. So Christ the Lord is, is like a title. It's like explains who he is and what he's like and what he does. Uh, let's have some examples. Uh, in our church, Jacob is the pastor. And now his title is Reverend Jacob Brothers. Now, that wasn't his name when he was born. That'd be a bit of a funny name. But the title Reverend shows that he's been put in a position as pastor of the church. He's got a role to play. He's got a job to do. And uh, that tells us it. <coughs> Excuse me. The Queen, who lives in Buckingham Palace. She is the Queen. Now, her name is Elizabeth. But her title is the Queen that tells us that she has a role to play. She rules and she has got responsibilities as the Queen. And so when she's called Her Majesty the Queen, that reminds us of who she is and what she does. Now Jesus is the Christ. But what is the Christ? So the Christ is a title given to Jesus. And its meaning is the special one sent by God. So he was special from God to do a special task for God. So last week we learned that Jesus had a name Emmanuel, which means God with us. And today we see he's also called the Christ, the special one sent by God to do a very special task. Absolutely. Now, Jesus didn't just come to earth to hang out, to enjoy all the, the fun things of earth. He did have a proper task to complete. So maybe you want to pause us for a minute and have a think with the people you're with. What do you think the task was that Jesus came to do? And how did he do it? Have a little chat, have a little think. I'm going to stop for a moment. No, we're not paused, we're just pausing. If you need more time, you can actually press pause. But um, what sort of tasks do you get given? Oh, I know. 
tidy your room. Do you get told to tidy your room? Go and tidy your room. Now. Oh, oh no, come back. Do it later. Tidy your room. That's a big task. I bet that's a task we all have to do, though. And, uh, well, Jesus' task was to tidy his room. Although, maybe as a boy growing up, he did get asked to do that by Mary, his mum. Uh, by the way, his task was a little bit like that. Tidying up mess, sorting things out. Getting my Bible again. Uh, because I'm looking for 1 Timothy 1. Near it's disappeared. End. I've got it. It's very short in this Bible. Uh, 1 Timothy 1, 15 tells us the task. It says, Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners. So it reminds us again that he's Christ mm -hmm. and it tells us the task. He came to save sinners. But that is some task. Yeah. Tidying your room, so you're trying to get all the bits involved sorted out. To save sinners? Wow, because remember, mm -hmm. me and Joanna and you, everyone is a sinner. We all need saved. So Jesus is the Christ. That means he's the special one, the chosen one sent by God for the special task of saving sinners. Everybody. Maybe in your family, you might have a chat about how he does that. I think, well, how can I be a part of it? How can I be one of those that is saved by Jesus, the Christ, the special chosen saint one? Have a great chat. Have a great week. And we'll see you again soon.